All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the American Car Classes Radio Program. Program. Uh, program. Podcast. So, uh, We're a podcast and program at the same I am, time. I, I try to be efficient bang, with bang, our time. I, I'm Kenny Schofield. With me is Mike Carano and Todd Byron. Look, um, I, I, I say it all, every week. I'm going to be a little bit more low-key about it. Uh, the Stranger Band is something that I grew up with, a local rock and roll. Uh, Greg Billings is the front man. Uh, he is the lead singer of the, the Damned or Torpedoes, which was a band that he took on after Stranger and, and uh, their long, long run. They did do a North American tour with MTV. They went out in California and stuff and did some cool stuff. Uh, they've been all over Florida. They've done a lot a lot. So Greg, uh, after Dan the Torpedoes, took a little break and created the Greg Billings Band, and he's had a good run with that, and now he's on to the Abraham Billings stuff, which has got a, br- they've got a brand new album out that I've been enjoying listening to it at work. Um, Greg went on live Facebook the other day, uh, Sunday night, and he sang a couple songs. Uh, he started off with a Tom Petty song, which I deeply love. That was awesome. He does it all acoustic and, uh, in his house. And, uh, and he announced that he, 12 years ago, uh, fought uh, prostate cancer and did some chemo and, and beat it and everything. And, and he admitted that he kind of got lax over the last uh, 12 years and in the last couple of years. And, and uh, he didn't watch his PSA numbers. And he's going to uh, now go through a battle to, to uh, fight this again and, and possibly just go ahead and have it removed and stuff. He was very courageous to come on Facebook and sit here and talk to everybody. Uh, he's got over 5,000 followers, I think, on, on his Facebook friends, uh, that we would call him, because he's a local guy. We're all our friends. And it's not like a, a a fan pack or something. He knows everybody. He associates with everybody. These are people that he's known and grown up with for forty years. Uh, Greg is sixty five, so twelve years ago he's fifty three, and I'm fifty six. And Todd, you're fifty five. <laughs> um, and, and Mike, you're in your sixties. I just turned sixty one. Just turned sixty one last week. And, and so uh, he he started the, the thing out after he told everybody, and he ended it with the same thing, guys. Do get blood checked. work, get checked. Uh, I, I get mine checked every four to six months, but that's because I'm on testosterone and some other stuff too. Uh, and they got to watch my kidneys with my leave intake and stuff and all that. So we do all the blood work. It's worth it though. I don't like getting stabbed with the needle, but it's a lot better than going through the alternative. Uh, I don't really drink and I don't smoke, but um, you always worry about that. My mom and dad both had cancers of different kinds. And, and I um, want to reach out to Greg. I've got another friend, Russell, who's a local Snap-on dealer who uh, I've just learned as well uh, as a positive for this. And Todd, you had somebody come to you today, as yeah. a matter of fact, and say that they are going to be fighting this as well. So yeah. uh, call this a PSA, public service announcement on the PSA reading which is for your prostate health. Go ahead and, and, and get your lab work done, guys. If you haven't in a long time, please, uh, for, for your family and your friends and everything else, do that one simple thing, all right? So um, all, all my love to Greg, and um, the fight isn't just his. It's, 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 it's everybody's. He's got one hell of an extended family. So um, we're with you, and, and I love you. So, all right. So, I'm with the show, right? Yeah. All right. So, uh, I want to do a little bit of news, a little bit of history real quick. Um, uh, with Todd, we're going to join in here and tag team this. On November 25th, which is a, a week ago already, 1949, the one millionth Cadillac was sold. <laughs> one millionth. What year was that? 49. 49. Wow. Which is 70 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't somebody have a 49 Cadillac? I saw Ken Diggett last night, and they were walking through. It was a rerun, and he saw 49, 
but he guessed it was a fifty, but it said on the tag it was a forty nine. Oh, okay. What was it the who, who, there was a name wasn't that what didn't what's his name have his Cadillac at the show? Oh, that was John, and that's a thirty two LaSalle. Oh, 32. And, a, and a thirty eight. Oh, I thought yeah. thirty eight. We had yeah. that thirty nine LaSalle. Right. But that was a thirty nine. So, thirty. Right, yeah, right. Okay. So um yeah, so on on the twenty fifth of November in forty nine, the one millionth was sold. And at the same time, November twenty seventh, nineteen ninety six, almost fifty years later, the last Cadillac Fleetwood rolled off the assembly line. Wow. Yeah. You remember the 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 squid square I mean it was pointed on both ends. The, yeah. The old Fleetwood Brome, man. That thing was a you, you, yeah, they you, come with outriggers. You couldn't, you couldn't make that thing rock if you were active in it. I mean, it was yeah. just huge. And you know what? Nothing ro- rides like a Cadillac, though. Nah. Being in a Cadillac, this just, a, it's just an unbelievable no. ride. No. Like, it's just it's, float it's, boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. ultimate boat. Yeah, yeah. So um, history, history, yesterday. <laughs> there you go. This is one line, and then we got you got okay. some you got some history for Keith McDonald. <clears throat> yeah, right? this is right up Keith's alley. Right, <laughs> November twenty eighth, nineteen eighty, which really wasn't long ago. No, nineteen eighty. It was, but it wasn't. It was, but it wasn't. Yeah. Forty years. I mean, it's we yeah. were we were teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm not saying anything. Anyway, <laughs> so the legendary Yugo began rolling their way. Down the assembly line. You go. Yeah. You go. You go. The legendary. Legend- you go. Legendary. This is, this, <laughs> yeah, is, this, this is how it was written yeah. in the yeah. internet. By and 1985, the United States was now offering them for sale at $3,990. Wow. And Which, only 3,895 of them were sold that first year. 3,800. Yeah. It's rare. <clears throat> but yeah. Night- this probably worth something right yeah. now. But in 1986, go. over 35,000 of them were sold in the U.S. Wow. In 1987, Yugo introduced five different models to choose from. 48,812 of them sold in 1987 in the U.S. And when by, did they stop selling? By 1992, Americans realized that the car was a piece of <laughs> crap. <laughs> yep, and basically only sold 1,412 of them. Well, that was like the, the, you know, what was it, the Hyundai when it first came out. Yeah. They were cheap. They had, the only thing that was good about the Hyundai, they had the Alpine stereos in them. Yeah. They all had Alpine stereos, and they, they all sounded good. The, the music was good, but the car didn't last. But now the Hyundai has a Genesis model that is 80 grand. That is that, absolutely gorgeous. That is yeah. banging. Yeah, the Genesis is a beautiful car. Yeah, Even Kia, e- has, yeah, a, Kia. E- has a new logo and is a hell of a car. Yeah. Eos, I guess it is, they make. Um, yeah. That's Eos. part of. You know the Hyundai line, oh, yeah, it? yeah, so that ho- big EOS. Okay, yeah, um, they're, uh, they're so right. hopefully Keith is listening. He's he's cheering on the yeah. Yugo right yeah. now. He's probably got his Yugo shirt on. Well, we got him that that that's metal right. Frame that metal, yeah. the right, yeah. so it's, he's he's got his bedroom Yugoed out. I spoke to him today. Did you? Yep, yep. He's moving. Well, he had to in October. I thought he they no. Nope, the they they just shirt. resold it again. The house. Oh. So now he's moving. He he was moving today actually. Okay. Huh. Well, I called him. I left him a voicemail. I sent him a text, and yeah. never heard a thing from him. He don't like you. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. That's all right. I'm sitting in his chair. I'm sitting in his chair. Life's a bitch. So, so, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about the turkey rod run, and then like two weeks earlier, they had that big auction, the Carlisle auction. Do you guys don't go to that, right? No. I know Steve we from Cool to. Cars goes every year, and he, he he ends up bringing home a bunch of cars from in Palm Bay. So I think he filled up his shop. Again, I got to stop over there because he's got a whole bunch of new cars up well, there. There's only three or four really? spots. I mean, it's no, I, I, yeah, well, but he's, I, they built the new building. Yeah, I, I think he's he's got he might have a building at home. Also, okay, so uh, but it's it looks pretty nice. Good, good. Got some nice cars there. Good. And that you know, was November 11th and 12th. That was that was coming up, and that was in Lakeland, Florida. Yeah, the uh, Kissimmee auction in Kansas City is coming up. Well, we're recording today is the last day of hurricane season here in Florida. Right. Uh, it's November 30th, and tomorrow, Thursday, the first of December, the uh, Kansas City auction begins in uh, for for Mecum. That's they're going to run three days. I think they're only doing. 800 cars something like that yeah where i know they they were Kansas at the city they were in daytona uh but they weren't selling tickets oh they weren't for some strange reason now now they've always always, always sold tickets. they always sold and they gave you always a discounted code for for the get the tickets there and this time around they were just they were just there they were just i guess promoting at 
the turkey at the turkey. I seen them, and I almost was going to go there. Yeah, yeah but you, they didn't. They weren't selling any uh, bitters pass or anything. No, I don't know if they were selling regular tickets or not, but I know uh, I used to get my bitters pass there at a discount. Good. Yeah, fifty percent off. Yeah, 50 off. Uh, but they but they stopped that. Times are rough. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Not wow. for them. They're doing very well. Did you see the bumper boys? Yeah, I seen bumper boys. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I walked by them. <laughs> And they didn't go. Hey, Todd. Yeah, I Todd. think nothing. I I can't say anything bad about them. I got one. I got a bumper from them from the, for the javelin. Yeah, and it was fine. Yeah. Did Did you run into anybody that you know? Did you see anybody that you know there? Actually, no. Unbelievably, no. Well, that's a good thing. And I know a lot of people. That's a good thing. I couldn't believe it. I, actually, I said. I think I said something to Polly. I'm like, you know what, dude. I can't believe I didn't see one person here I know. That's awesome. You know, normally it's rare. I'm, I'm running into all kinds of people. I didn't. Maybe you were being incognito. You maybe had sunglasses. On. Well, you know what? I can't say that. I did see Johnny Biesta, who used to <coughs> own Fine Line Collision. Okay. Um, they do. If you ever been by his house, he's got the fat boy, and they got all this stuff out front. Out, yeah. out front, you know. Um, well, his him and his son sell that stuff. All that old antique stuff and signs and everything. I, he was there. They, he had, he's there every year. Selling. Yeah, so uh, i seen him. Okay. And uh, that's it. And, okay. You, know, you stopped and because said hello? He's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay. nobody nobody shouted, Todd! No, As no, yeah. no, they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, nope, I didn't see anybody. It was kind of crazy. I went to a concert of Greg's a year ago in Zephyr Hills, and, and I took Tiana, and we said, I said, we will not. This is so cool. I'll be, nobody will be around. I mean, this is just you and me. We're hanging out. If, if anybody, if anybody, as I finish the sentence, if anybody shows up and says they know me, I'll give you what's in. My, I'll, I'll give them what's in my wallet. Right. Within a minute. Hey, Kenny. And there it's you Brian go. Glaze. He works at Daytona International, and and he was he came to meet his girlfriend who's from Safety Harbor, and sure as hell, I pulled my wallet out and just handed it to him. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing. You go places and people. Uh, yeah. People, like, we, were, we, were, we were in Vegas, and the next thing I, I hear, detective, detective. Yeah, that happened too. <laughs> I had that in Alaska. Ended Ended Alaska. Being, uh, well, we had that guy that walked in the shop a month ago, and he goes, that's a Corona boy. I know Corona <laughs> boys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm all over the place. Yeah. Hey. Well, you've lived, you've done a lot. I mean, yeah. you were bodyguard and stuff. You yeah. Know, Joan Jett, some stuff like this. Yeah. And, yeah. and out of the rock and roll news, real quick, we're going to fade out. Uh, Christine McVie died from, today. From, 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 um, we don't know what she Fleetwood died. Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. She, we don't know what yeah. she passed away. She died in, uh, at a house today. Well, rest in peace, and we're yeah. sorry for about the loss for everybody. Uh, American Car Classes, hang out. We'll be right back. <laughs> 